what's up, Wizard? This your favorite comedian, Corby. Let me go ahead and get this thing started. Now, y'all know has him king of the South, T.I. T.I. always in some shit every week, right? Well, VH1 said, holla at you. They hauled their production of the T.I. Family Huddle Show. So it's because of allegations about sex trafficking minors and sex stuff. And even though he wasn't charged, he is being sued. So, story rolling. In other news, two St. Lunatics are bowling out Nelly and Ali. Ali talking about, man, you ain't dumb as all the stuff. Nelly like, that's a lie, nigga. I wrote with y'all the St. Lunatics. So they going back and forth saying Nelly did them wrong. But I'm like, Nelly, it's a... He say, she say going on. So, who y'all got? Courtney Hills or Ali? Nelly! Y'all stay tuned for that now. Here's all the news. Y'all know me. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got a sex tape going on. He's found his OnlyFans where he's leading getting dumb and wet. Like, he's going crazy. Some of the sweet tea dudes are going crazy as well. He was in, so he uh, released the video. He didn't deny it. He did make a claim to him. Uh, it is what it is. But Trey, 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 you can't sell records. You sell OnlyFans, huh? I see. Yeah. Everybody doing their OnlyFans. You got Trey Songs, Cardi B. Now you got Nessa, the young uh, teenage girl, um, teenage girl that played in the Bernie Mac series show. She's on her OnlyFans. He said she might show a little nook nook. Bernie Mac, where you at? Right here, motherfucker, right here. Y'all stay tuned for that. And other news, we talk about the trannies winning. They winning again, man. Tranny just won the sprint race in uh, New Haven, Connecticut, man. Uh, I forgot her name. But anyhow, she said she won the dick over the finish line and she won the girl sprinting race. So, them trainees are taking over. So, and also, pro wrestler Gabby Troop has come out as trainees of the world. Like, what's going on? Everybody want to put tuck the dick in and put the cooch out. Look, real men don't want that artificial stuff. We don't want chemicals added to that, all right? Listen, lubricant naturally wet. So, but he's coming out as transgender. So, he said his wife is supportive. So, Gabby Troop is now, I don't know, he's a transgender now. So, Ooh, tough day for y'all ladies. Another tranny news. This is like y'all women. Y'all women, please. I'm going to tell you this from a brother that love pussy. Y'all pussy don't die. NBA Alex Battles going to uh, Ben Simmons um, threw a tranny out. So the tranny said, I got receipts and stuff. And ooh, I, them trannies are story developing, y'all. Ooh. Russian lady in, Slovo in Slovakia. She gave the arm robber some hair. Yes, she did. She said, I'm going to be the... I'm going to use what God gave me. She distracted the uh, local dude. He was robbing the gas though. She took him back. Let me give you five minutes of plus. The rebels were like, ooh, 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 ooh. But, hey, she's a hero out there in Slovakia. So, hey, I don't want to get some head. Get me one some head. Look, look. The way developing, y'all. Speaking of vaccine, I bet they mention in, Mich in Massachusetts that they are offering inmates to get reduced time if you get the shot. Woo, these people are desperate to get us a vaccine. Well, they desperate to inspect that COVID-19. I guess you can just rob the COVID-19, y'all uh, felons out there in prison. Other news, Nick Cannon begged the white man to get his job. I guess he did. He is back on hosting Nick uh, Wilder. Now, and he got COVID-19, so he got the win-win situation going on here. But he is hosting Wild Out Show, so he will be back on the air. So, wonder how that went. But that COVID-19, bro, get better, Nick Cannon. And other news, Kroger. Y'all know you call me y'all grocery chain stores. They saying they paying their employees a hundred dollars to get the vaccine shot. Don't go for that shit. They using us to pick money. They said they giving the weed hundred dollars. They know that black people gonna come. Like hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Don't do it. But y'all story developing, man. Kroger, vaccine shot, hundred dollars. Yeah, we, this is multicultural laugh. Uh, what's up, Wednesday? We got uh white people in the news. Yep, white folks. Uh -huh, got his ass. Rick Snyder, the former governor of uh, Michigan, has been charged with contaminating the water, making people sick. Him and other eight uh his compadres are uh, in some deep shit. So story developing. You know they're gonna use their white privilege card soon. So don't be surprised. Story developing, y'all. Little Black History tribute for you, John Batiste. Be sable. He found my hometown, Chicago, Illinois. It's a little black history. You don't talk about no black history. There goes some black history tribute for y'all. Shaquita Monique. We got a black woman that owned a beauty supply in Stockton, Georgia. It ain't no yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a black one. Talking, girl, I got what you want. Girl over here. So shout out to um, Diane Father. She is the she owned the largest beauty supply in Stockbridge, Georgia. So y'all go see her, man. Y'all Google the black owned business in Stockbridge. So shout out to the queen doing the thing. Black women. Y'all rise up from these transgenders. And other news, dumb black chick unused the ponytail to do gorilla glue on the head. Now she in the medical, school, medical room trying to get it sewn up. I don't know why her dumb ass did that, but her dumb ass done put some suit gorilla glue on the head, and that's the end of that, boy. She did get a million followers after that, so get better, queen. And other news, happy birthday to Garrett Morris, man. Y'all know him as uh, the uncle on the Jamie Foxx show. He is turning 84 years old. He said, I'm stroking. Keep it strong, man. So birthday shout out to the king, man. 
In music news, y'all know him as this murder. My man, Ja Rule, he come back and hit him at 50 Cent, killed his career, but he graduated from Harvard, man. Yeah, he got a business degree in Harvard, so shout out to Murder Day Inc. You know, Ja Rule, we need another record, man. The murder. Okay, no murder, no, no degree. Gotcha. And other news, story development. And other news, Subway is on the fire saying they tune is not real. But that's no surprise because all of this shit don't look real. So they found a lawsuit out there saying that Subway tune is not real. So all y'all eating that, ooh, 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 ooh. Y'all be careful out there, story developing. Y'all know him from the skills on the basketball court. Y'all know him from marrying one of the Kardashians and getting a crack uh, habit. Y'all, y'all know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about my man Lamar Odom. He is set to fight Aaron Carter. Uh-oh, he said he want to throw them things on the white boy. Uh-oh. Y'all stay tuned, man. Don't be surprised Lamar Odom going there with hot, drugged up, ready to fight. Y'all stay tuned. Also, Publix is on the fire right now. Yeah, Publix got their fresh sub, everything fresh. They put crack in their fruit, but they're on the hot water because the granddaughter of um, Charlie Jenkins has supportively funded the ride in Washington, D.C. when Trump is office. And black folks in Publix like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to Wayfield. I'm going to Walmart. So, George is not saying we ain't having it, so... Story of development. All right, man, that's it, man. This is your favorite comedian, Corey B, for another episode of What's Up, Wednesday. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I will see you next Wednesday, that Wednesday, my Wednesday. What's up, Wednesday? Y'all take care now.